The power of a seed, never underestimated. Biz Focus, feeling China's economic pulse, I'm Lily Lu. I'm here in Nanfan Breeding Center in China's Hanan Province. Nanfan in Chinese means breed in the south. It is traditionally one of the major breeding centers in China, and over the years, Nanfan has grown into a seed innovation highland. It is also dubbed as China's seed Silicon Valley. Every year this season, you see thousands of agriculture scientists and workers coming from all across China to Hanan province, bringing their crops, their seeds like corn, rice or cotton, etc, etc, here for cultivation and breeding purposes. And today, I'm going to visit one of the cultivation area of Nanfan breeding center to understand the power of technology in agriculture, in seed security, and also, I have one scientist as my guide today. Nice to meet you. Here, throw on a straw hat to shield from the heat. With the blazing heat, breaking the sweat was no surprise. But Mr. Wei couldn't be happier basking in the rays after a stretch of raining skies. A sunny day is perfect for sowing seeds. Hainan's winter gifts us with the ideal combo of sunshine and just right temperatures. Now is the prime time to plant crops that are usually call the north home, corn, cotton, wheat, you name it. Where most places get just one corn cycle a year here in Hainan, we double down. That cuts our seed breeding process big time. A lifetime in agriculture, Mr. Wei's regular treks to Hainan since the 1990s paid off, as he saw the Nanfan seed base blossom into a science and technology stronghold. The vibe here is top-notch. Every winter seed breeding brain power from across China gather here. The spots thriving as a hotbed for tech exchanges, research milestones, and pooling resources. Sure, farming's tough, but look at us, always rolling in with new seeds and hope in our pockets. Like any job worth its salt, agriculture swings from sweat to smiles. That barbed wire is our line of defense against rat invaders. Smart little critters, though, they tiptoe over. So we play smarter, double wires. And weeds are a battle, too. We lay down mulch to block them, but they poke through sometimes. And just within the cultivation area is a lab, which fell quiet during my visit, but Mr. Wei teased a buzzing season just months away. Big thanks to Yazhou Bay Science and Technology City. With their support, we've got our own lab right by the fields for all kinds of testing. This coming Lunar New Year, this place will hum with calm tissue culture. Well, the Nanfan Breeding Center is part of a mega project. It's called the Yazhou Bay Science and Technology City. It sits on the west of Sanya City. It is one of the major parks of the Highland Free Trade Port. I'm taking you there now. With a planned area of over 26 square kilometers, the Yazhou Bay Science and Technology City dreams big, melting industry, academia, and urban life. It's no wonder the Nanfan Silicon Valley drew over 40 enterprises and institutions, some with heavyweight clout. And perks? The project offers R&D equipment subsidies, plus rewards for the innovators. Curious about what viewers' business brings to this hub? I swam by Joint Hope's office. The company has operations in various locations in China and their R&D base is planted here in Nanfan. Apart from geographical advantages and the favorable environment for research centers, we also value Hainan's status as a free trade port. This is our golden ticket to nurture our import and export businesses. The company imports commercial seed varieties from the US and European countries, 
with the seed breeding magic in the research center, sprouts new strains, then the new products are sold domestically or to overseas markets. We now cooperate with Central Asian markets. Think Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, and Uzbekistan. We've set up a science and technology collaborative center there. And we're tackling Southeast Asia too. Take our showcase hub in Malaysia for starters. The seed industry is ushering in the spring, Ms. Wang said. Back in the fields, Mr. Wei's gaze stretched beyond business opportunities. To him, Seeds are the most powerful lever to shape our planet's future. Seeds can change the world. We want homegrown seeds to keep the rice bowl firmly in our own hands. From field to plate, the incredible journey of food begins with a humble yet powerful start, seeds, the agriculture chips. Apart from semiconductors, these biological chips also represent a fierce technological frontier for China. China's drive to achieve self-sufficiency in germplasm resources and seed technology is crucial. It concerns food security, livelihood and environmental health. And it's not just for China, it's for the entire world. And before I go, just to leave you with some thoughts from my interview trips, food is a precious gift. Let's not take it for granted, rather, Enjoy every bite of it.